Ladies and gentlemen, our top story is a cautionary tale for all of you. We are doing this show to make you aware of just how close you are to being scammed out of your hard-earned money by cyber criminals, especially if you are a senior citizen. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to admit this. We are living in the midst of a scandemic and it usually starts with a phone call. These are calls all of us have got. In the old days, these calls were from an innocuous bank official asking us for our credit card details. But now the scam is so sophisticated, it is difficult to tell whether you're being duped till the money has gone out of your bank. The RBI, the CBI, the ED, the Narcotics Control Bureau, the police, the TRAI, the name of every law enforcing agency is now being used to defraud you of your hard earned money. Here's the call you get. I'm calling from TRAI. Your connection will be cut if you don't call back. I'm calling from RBI. Your credit card is being blocked if you don't call back or press 123, etc., etc. All of us have got these calls. We know they are frauds. We block them and then we move on. But that is not how it always plays out. It now turns out that even some of India's richest tycoons are not immune to cyber frauds. S.P. Oswal, the 82-year-old CEO of the renowned Vardhaman Group that is worth a billion dollars, has been defrauded of 7 crore rupees, ladies and gentlemen. In a heist that seems to be straight out of a Bollywood thriller, you remember Special 26? Mr. Oswal was deceived by fraudsters imposing as CBI officers. Look at how elaborate the scam was. They called him as said his Aadhaar card had been misused to make fake passports and conduct financial frauds. They even bought in Naresh Goyal into the picture. So it started, as I said, as it always does with a phone call. The caller introduced himself to Mr. Oswal as a CBI officer from Mumbai. Then to convince him, he also video called the 82-year-old in which it seemed that this so-called CBI officer was sitting in a CBI office because there was a big CBI logo right behind him. This group of scamsters then sent Mr. Oswal an arrest warrant on WhatsApp that was supposedly sanctioned by the Supreme Court. So elaborate was the scam that Mr. Oswal was also made to witness a fake Supreme Court hearing where the Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachur, was supposedly speaking. The CEO of the $1 billion Vardhaman Group panicked and fell for the trap. Many people do, especially senior citizens. In order to save himself from the arrest, the industrialist transferred 7 crore rupees in two different bank accounts. It was only later when he spoke to a senior manager in his office did he realize that he had been duped by cyber criminals. An FIR was lodged in Ludhiana and two people have been arrested so far from Guwahati. Thankfully for Mr. Oswal, 5.25 crore rupees have been recovered from these fraudsters. The hunt is currently underway for five others. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Oswal was lucky. Many, many people who get defrauded of their hard-earned money never get it back. We all personally know of such cases. Just ask around, you'll know. Mr. Oswal is the second industrialist to be duped of crores within a week. Rajni Chahuja was duped after fraudsters threatened him again with an arrest warrant and forced him to transfer one crore rupees to a bank account. The numbers are astonishing, really astonishing. Last year, there were 2,264 such cases reported every day. That means a financial scam done via the telephone every 20 seconds. Now, some of you may think that people like Mr. Oswal probably deserved it for being gullible enough to fall for it. But that's not the entire story. The man is 82 years old. 
senior citizens more than anyone else are susceptible to these calls because they are not comfortable with today's technology, especially when it comes to detecting scams that are based on them. Moreover, these scamters are always ahead of the curve. From simple credit card or UPI scams, they have now graduated to playing on your emotions, either by threatening you or your loved ones with the prospect of arrest, so that you are scared into paying them. As the sophistication of these scams continue to escalate, the need of the hour is to remain vigilant and proactive in educating ourselves and our loved ones, especially our senior citizens, to recognize and resist such deceitful tactics. But how do you even do that?